think she's overrated because I don't connect with her music nor really like it. Why a person gotta be miserable as fuck and have nothing going for themselves? How you sound? Why can't you lift Beyonce up without bringing others down over a matter of taste? Is it on? Oh my God, it's on! <laughs> Let me stop. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel Artist, and thank you for stopping by, yo. I'm sweating, okay? <laughs> a chick is tired, you know what I'm saying? It's been a, it's, but listen, I'm in a really good mood, as you can see, all right? I, sometimes you just want, you just gotta, you know, just groove, groove with it in the morning and just start your day off fresh. And I had to do that right before work. And let me tell y'all something, if y'all don't know about this title, <laughs> this is about Queen B, all right? This is about Beyonce, all right? And yes, I said it. Let me tell you something. When Beyonce, a couple of weeks ago, dropped that she was gonna drop a documentary on Netflix, I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Especially with the fact that it's about Coachella, you know, and just the theme, the homecoming theme. I was, I was living, okay? You can't, let me tell you something. I think I went to work and I was just raving about it and my manager was like, okay, what day is it coming out? And I told her, I'm like, yeah, it's coming out this such and such day. And she was just like, okay, so if you call out, I know why. <laughs> Yo, she put me on the spot. I was just like, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. But anyway, so when it dropped, I was one of those people that was just like, yes, <laughs> I'm going to stay up and I'm going to watch it. And that's what I did. But you know what? Let me tell y'all, I'm going to say this right now. Beyonce knows Carter. <laughs> All right. She is the best entertainer performer, artist, living today, period. And I said what I said. Okay, let me say it one more time. Beyonce is the best entertainer, performer, 
artists living today okay and let me tell you something Beyonce got so much I guess if you listen so many people was posting online and posting on social media like oh she's so overrated she's so overrated that word in itself is overrated okay and I just got annoyed so you know hey I don't care I post as well and I said what I said <laughs> pretty much is exactly what I said and I added a little extraness to it because oh well and I said and if you don't agree if you don't believe that if, no, I said no I take that back I said if you feel like she's overrated then you're miserable as fuck and you got nothing going on for yourself and I guess it just touched a nerve to some people okay because um yeah let me let me tell y'all what one person said all right uh, one person said her response was I she started off by saying I think she's overrated because I don't connect with her music nor really like it. Why a person gotta be miserable as fuck and have nothing going for themselves? How you sound? Why can't you lift Beyonce up without bringing others down over a matter of taste? First of all, skirt! <laughs> How in the same paragraph can you sit here and say, I think she's overrated, but also say, why can't you lift Beyonce up without bringing others down? By you saying she's overrated, that's bringing, first of all, that's bringing her down in itself. Like, you trying to discredit her freaking work ethic, her talent, by saying that she's overrated. So, sis, don't do me like that. Sit down, sit down, don't do me like that. All right? Let me tell you, everyone has, a, everyone is entitled to their tapes their preference i get it you could easily just say i don't connect with her music you know and that's that leave it leave it at that but you're bringing her down too by saying that she's overrated like come on in the same sentence that you said that so that's why i'm like oh no <laughs> no not today <laughs> not tomorrow <laughs> not never <laughs> but yes yeah, so i was anyway so i was just like moving on <laughs> Moving next, let me get right into this documentary. First of all, okay, I don't, I, I, I can't say that I'm part of the Beehive community, but I am a fan, okay? Because I'm a fan of work ethic, I'm a fan of talent, I'm a fan of drive, I'm a fan of determination, I'm a fan of just giving it your all. Like, and she, she does. She does. This documentary was so inspiring, was so empowering. Like, I felt so proud to be a black woman, okay? I felt so proud. I was so motivated. I was like, you know what? <laughs> let, me, let me get up right now and start, <laughs> let me start writing. Let me start jotting out I did. Let me just start like you, let me tell you, and there's nothing wrong with getting inspiration from that. There's nothing wrong. People get inspiration from anything. You get inspiration from a book, a movie, another person, just in life in general. You get inspiration from God, the Bible. So it's just like, let me tell you, it, it motivated me. And if it didn't motivate you, then hey, whatever. But it motivated me. And you know what? Like Beyonce said, if her country ass can do it, so can y'all. And I was just like, Okay, I hear you, I see you, B, I see you, because seriously, like, I just, I got so inspired, I was just crying, and yes, I know I'm a crybaby, but I was motivated, and it's just like, and I was so proud, like, Beyonce employed so many brown, black people, okay, like, she gave them that outlet to shine, she gave them that, like, she was able to put them on, she, she was in a position to put other people's on, and to literally be like, you know what, shine, bubble, like, do your thing, like, this is your opportunity, too, we all gotta eat, we all got the piece of the pie right now, and that's, let me tell you something, so many people, want to step on other people to get ahead they want to bring other people down and that's exactly why i'm just like okay why i felt some type of way when they kept the people kept saying oh she's so overrated it's like why you gotta bring someone down yes i've taken your words why do you have to bring somebody down like man like let's uplift each other because we all can get it not everybody has to be the same thing not everybody has to like the same thing but we all can get it and it just motivated me because it's seriously whatever you inspired to be in your life 
Keep on going. Keep on climbing. Stop making excuses. Oh, what? I got bad lighting? No. Figure it out. Keep it moving. Oh, I'm tired. Well, bitch, eat better. Eat healthy. <laughs> eat healthier. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, you don't get it. Your own excuses stops you from your growth, stops you from your shine, stop you from winning. <laughs> like, your own excuses. Man, what? When they were younger, they was on Star Search and then they didn't win? But she's winning now, you know what I'm saying? She's been winning. Man, she's been winning. And I'm trying to win too. I want y'all to win too. Like, I was so inspired. I was like, I went to bed inspired, motivated, and I woke up happier in a good mood. And it's okay, because sometimes you need that reset, that, that charge, that, you know, it's okay, that's life. Sometimes you need that, and she gave it to me. Beyonce gave it to me. Shoot, I was like, let me do this before work. Got me dancing and sweating, you know? And all that, man, right before work. Like, God, I need another shower, because I was sweating. But, um, yeah. Seriously, she's so dope. She's so dope. And I'm gonna say one more time for the one time. She is the best entertainer, performer, artist living today. And I said what I said. But anyways, thank y'all for stopping by. Seriously, I hope y'all inspired. Can I hope hopefully I can inspire you to like keep it moving, keep it going, and uplifting each other. Because we all can get it. You know, um, we all can get it. And thank you. Peace out. Have a good day.